A very good afternoon to you from the Olympic Stadium here in Chinwangdao. It's stage two of the 12th Joy Boy Masters Grand Finals. There's 480 players from 73 countries started out with dreams of taking home the first prize of 700,000 US dollars. Our next match is between Cesar Chandiga. He's a bit of a internet sensation from Uganda. Everyone has been begging that we show one of his matches. So, of course, we listened, and here he is. And he's up against the man in your picture now. They call him Phone. Zhang Shaijie from Myanmar. There he is. So here we go then, our second match of the day. The game is Chinese 8-ball, otherwise known as Hayball, of course. It's no cool shot, so lucky shots are okay. It's alternate break. Four-point rule is in effect on the break, so you must make four points, and you do that by making a point for every single ball that you make on the break, and a point for every ball past the head string into the kitchen. Our referee checking nice and closely that those balls are nice and tight. And it will be phone breaking off in the first rack race to 13 with a two and a half hour time limit. If you do happen to dry break, you will get one point against your name, make three and you'll lose a rack. So here we go then. One passed. Two passed, three passed. Did he make any balls? Yes, he did. The break is good. Made one of those balls into the side. That's the ones they're trying to make. Almost made the 11 as well. That went mighty close. So 45 second shot clock and one 30 second extension per rack. table has been cleaned after our first match which saw Lee Walker go through against South African Richard Halliday just a few little bits of fluff on the on the strawn 10 cloth of course played on these lovely joy tables Nine by four and a half, we see absolutely perfect shot there from phone. And pardon the pun, he looks dialed in right from the start. Although he's from Myanmar, he does live in China. I believe he's ranked number eight in China. So this man can certainly play. Great shot he's played there. And he's really nicely onto this three ball into the corner. What kind of an angle has he got? Can maybe just drag it through. Hold it for the one ball. Leave himself some kind of angle to get onto the two. So just drop this in. Oh, he's slightly the wrong side of this. So might have to come between the 12 and the 14, the pink and the green stripes. 
and leave himself a little bit further away from the two ball. So just find that gap between the 14 and the 12. Oh, he's actually caught the 12. That's okay. He's going to have to... Oh, he's playing a lot of drag shots, isn't he? He's going to have to drag this one in as well to hold for the 8 into the same corner pocket. come out firing on all cylinders hasn't he good stuff here early on from phone mint and in it goes the perfect start from one of the favourites for this tournament he just has to be A nice break and run to begin his campaign in this last 128. Double elimination. And that man sat on your left there. Cesar Chandiga, quite a character. I was actually coming down in the elevator with him not today but one of his previous matches and it was about 10 past 12 and his match started at the same time as this one actually in one of the qualifiers and i said oh when are you playing he said oh 12 30. so i said how are you getting to the arena he said oh, by, i'm going by the bus i said you've missed the bus that left at 11 30. i said come on we'll get a taxi and i booked a taxi and we traveled to the venue together lovely guy Loves his pull. Let's see what he's got. One down. Caught them a little bit thin. Good spread on the balls and the solids look favourites to me. I wonder will he play this three ball off of the four? Super talented guy. Been looking forward to this one. Well, he's opened up both balls, but the four's gone just a little bit awkward. I was just talking to Gareth Potts before this. He's doing his crazy drills that he does in up in the practice room on the third floor. And he was telling me a little bit about the guy at the table now. Said he's strong favourite to win this particular match and the way he started I don't think I can argue with that here we see the grip I actually don't like to call it a grip because it's more of a cradle I don't really want to grip the cue tight played a beautiful shot there look at the top spin and I have to confess it's the first time I've seen this guy play. My first time in China. Yeah, probably going to play the five ball. In the combo. Always have to be careful though when you're playing these combos. You don't want to push a ball safe. So it's very important that he gets on the right side 
while taking this five ball into the top right hand corner it's the seven I apologize oh, beautifully played four ball is the problem he's got to be careful here he's going to lose the one ball slightly needs to come off the underside of the one as we look which means it's going to go up towards where he's standing now or is he looking at playing the four now Oh, this is super aggressive, but I guess it's the right shot, really, if he wants to finish it off here. No, just caught that near rail, and as soon as you catch that rail, they will not drop. Quite the opposite to American Paul. You'd be aiming to hit that side rail first, slide in, but not on a Chinese eight ball table. No joy on the joy for phone on that occasion. So a chance then for Caesar. Not a good one, I must admit, but at least he's back at the table. play to make the four ball and then hook his opponent behind that wall of balls unfortunately missed the carom but that 13 ball going where it's gone has kind of made the one ball interesting No problem making the six. It's all about the one ball. Whenever you're playing a combo, you're controlling three balls, of course. Now he's going to play this with pace and trust to luck a little bit, maybe. Oh, he's played it beautifully. What a shot. Had the perfect angle, didn't he? Just a little bit more work to do, though. This is a little bit thin. be able to hold it stay this side and he's gone up and down well he's scratched can you believe that I don't think he can oh that's really surprising maybe caught it a little bit thinner or thicker than he maybe wanted anyway surprise he's not playing the 13 here to be honest is he just playing a safety hook him in behind the 13 oh he's played both what a great shot opened up the 13 as well nice shot Caesar from Uganda and there's a few players here from the African nation very quiet lad gets on with his business I'll be great to stay 
steal this one, wouldn't it? How costly will that scratch be for phone? Seems to strike the cue ball very nicely, very sweet. Proudly carried his flag last night at the opening ceremony. And this is a good reply. Take full advantage of the ball in hand. And the job in hand is to bring this last 128 match level so nice draw stun off the side rail I think he has a slight angle on this can just bounce off the side rail for the eight ball into the bottom left yeah you see it it's perfect And he's sending it to phone and he's saying if you miss I'm going to take full advantage and in it goes. We're all square 1-1 one, one. in this race to 13. Lots of other matches in progress as well at the moment guys. If you go to the Joy Hayball Facebook page which is probably where you're watching now as we see a replay of where it went wrong for that man on your screen it did get another chance and then it was that scratch off the one ball into the corner which cost him So that one break and run, the only difference between the two at the moment. And there is a prize for whoever makes the most break and runs. Stuart Petman won that medal in Malaysia last year. Got beaten in the final by, I believe it was Jeffrey Ignacio from the Philippines. Stuart Petman in action and one of the outer tables. Kelly Fisher is as well. We're going to bring you up to date with those scores as well as we go along. Makes the ball in the side. The break is good. And it's not all about power. It's about accuracy. Almost made both wing balls into the side. You're not going to have to put up with me all the time, guys. I am going to be inviting some players into the booth with me between now and finals day on the 2nd of April. I hope you're going to enjoy the extensive coverage. You can always go to liveqq.com as well and find the match if one of your favorites is playing go and click on that you can watch that as well Glad you can hear me, guys. I 
afternoon to Edward. Good to have you with us, mate. Yeah, Caesar is definitely one of the top dogs, as you called them. Almost has kind of a Filipino style, this guy. The way he moves around the table. Very easy on the eye to watch. Nice flowing cue action. Make no mistake, he will be expecting to go pretty deep in this tournament. a little bit short of pace I think might be okay just having the cue ball clean maybe got a little bit of a bad contact there there's our very busy referee one of our many busy referees stop watching hand a little gadget in the pocket to clean the balls with and remove the, the template when needed Was perfect, wasn't it? Oh, but he'll know he cannot afford to miss. Caesar will pounce. So I've just dropped this nine ball in the side. There you see, perfect angle taking him down towards the eight ball, and this for a 2-1 lead race to 13 nicely done and we'll be back with rack number 4 soon guys don't go anywhere Lovely backdrop there, the stage where the big opening ceremony took place last night, a mock-up of the Great Wall of China, and the Great Wall of China actually comes out of the sea not far from here. The yeah, cue came off the hand there. Breaking with his hand on the bed of the table. But it is an illegal break. Only three points made. Really needed to make a ball there. So Phone has an option here. He can play from where the balls are, which I think he's chosen to do. He can ask for a re-rack and break himself, or he can ask for a re-rack and ask his opponent to break. So lots of options. More importantly, if you make three illegal breaks, you lose a rack. A little bit of a messy table. tied another one of his balls up there well can he get through and this one in the corner the 12 can he get through to it if he can't he doesn't have a ball on and there you see he cannot get through to it so gone a little bit astray 
from the man from Myanmar. There's the clock counting down at the bottom of the screens. Two hours, eight minutes remain. And should we happen to be level when the time runs out, there would be a shootout. Oh, super aggressive. Well, he's messed another one of the balls up now. No real damage done. Only the four ball. I don't think he's got any other shot on, to be honest. Gonna have a little bit of a tactical battle here. Kelly Fisher in action against Narantaya from Mongolia. Kelly is two one up in that particular match. David Lilly, the snooker player, is four one up against Malaysian Choi Yu Wa. Stuart Petman is up against Valeriano Pujuay from the Philippines. That's level at 2-2. Michael Giorgio, winner, of course, of the snooker shootout a few years back. He's in action. He's 3-2 down to Quinton Pongas. Now, Quinton Pongas from the Netherlands is the older brother of Yannick Pongas, who won the junior world title in Austria last year in Klagenfurt in Albin and Jasmine Ocean's home city. Another Filipino, Emil Leonor, is 1-1 with Basem Abud. Liam Hyde player in action against Edmund Bonglip from Malaysia. Liam 4-1 up in that one. Another snooker player, Pasakorn from Thailand. He's playing Vietnamese Pam Hui Nungen. And the Thai leads by 3-1 in that one. And Jeffrey DeLuna, who doesn't know Jeffrey DeLuna? Oh, did you see the break? He did a nine ball break the other day on a joy table here in the practice room and made six balls. He's 4-0 up in his match against Argentinian Jorge Omar Lanos. All those live scores available for you guys. And the Joy Hayball World Tour Facebook page. Back to this table. The battle continues. Oh, what a shot that was. Yeah, and if that hadn't have dropped, I think there's a pathway through for Caesar to that six ball. So he'll be pleased it went in. 
I think he played it with an element of safety. Didn't get quite enough left hand spin on the cue ball. Actually potted the 12 a little bit too thick. Which meant he didn't get past the 8 ball. Let's have another look at this. So once again, his opponent is going to get back to the table. Cue ball on this bottom rail. Oh, he tried to push that five ball safe. Smart shot. Didn't quite manage it. Now then, will Caesar attack? Or will he defend? Shot on the six from Caesar. He's very composed, doesn't he? Very focused. And there's a few chalk marks appearing on the table from the deep draw shots they've been playing, the deep screws. He showed earlier on, if phone misses, he will take advantage. Draw back. Try and maybe nudge the one out a little bit. Played that beautifully, didn't he? He'd love fraction further. So he could just play it and draw for the two. I'm not sure he can play it at that pace now. If you're feeling really good, play it into the bottom corner, top right as we look, and stun off the side rail for the two, but these pockets are so unforgiving. And these joy tables, super tough. So he's going the other route. And if he can drop on this one into the side, He's got nothing to do with the cube. Well, he's tried to move the one again. Well, that's very... Phone just making sure the cue ball's nice and clean. He fancies running these out, of course. Decision to make. Which way does he go? So it's going to be the 14... Followed by the ten. And it looks 
like he maybe changed his mind on that shot was kind of ready to pull the trigger and then started the shot routine again so this eight ball to go three one up and it goes Two two Kelly Fisher, three three Stuart Petman, and Filipino Filipino Pajai. Michael Giorgio has gone four two down now to Quinton Pongas from the Netherlands. Back to this one. My phone breaking off. Fully charged. Yeah, break is good. Four points made. Just holds up the hand. Made a lucky ball in the side. Didn't make the ball he was trying to make. You watch the ten ball gets kicked in by the six. And made three balls past that head string. Table's still open though until another ball is made. I think he was kind of thinking he might have caught the eight and the two there. All he's done is pushed the five ball into a more awkward position. Three ball goes in the side past the four as you can see. Just saw from our camera angle. So it could go three ball, one ball. That's what he's looking at now. Wants it to run. It has. I think he's got an angle. I think he was looking a little bit disappointed with that, but I think he's okay. Just below centre on the cue ball. Probably play for the four or the seven. Now, does that two go into this bottom right-hand corner? It may do. him earlier on just looking where he wanted to get on that five ball looking at taking the seven now always got to be flexible well if he's a little bit straighter on that two ball maybe may possibly leave himself an angle off of this five ball to go into it He's drawn into it now. Great shot. But problems not over just yet. He's going to thinly snick this two ball, I think, into the bottom right hand corner. Or is it no, up and down? Needs to miss. Needs to catch this just right, this seven ball. Very close to that two ball. Look at that. 
holding its steady hand like a surgeon. Now what about this? Cannon into the pink 12. makes this it's over oh he's over hit. oh he's okay slid it in caught it beautifully what a great shot that is well Gareth Potts warned me about this guy said he's one of the favourites Might need that again. Referee moves in to take it. He says, I'll have one more shot with it, please. So this eight ball for a three rack lead. Yeah, nicely done. A couple of little tricky shots there. Four one it is. shot there wasn't it the key to that rack that nice little cannon he played into the eight and the two looking very comfortable three break and runs Caesar coming to the table already on one illegal break just to make sure he makes his four points because it just puts more pressure on the next break. Alternate break, of course. Now made both of the wing balls into the side. Nice, beautiful break. But where's the cue ball? Well, straight into the corner pocket. Off of the side rail, just maybe a little bit too much. Left hand spin on the cue ball. For those of you new to eight ball, after the break, it's not ball in hand. You must put ball behind the line and play up table. Yeah, stripes looking very nice, aren't they? Inside spin on that ball. Lots of left hand spin. Almost caught the 10 and made it a lot more difficult. Glad I'm not cleaning that table after this match. little angle come down short side if he over hits it there you see he's going to play into an area here where he's guaranteed to have a shot on one or both of those stripes stun down between the four and the rail Couldn't have 
made it much better, could he? It's looking strong. Has to be a little bit careful here. He's gone, if anything, a little bit close. And he wants to run the cue ball through. Doesn't want to catch the eight. Doesn't want to go anywhere near the eight and tie that up. No, he's okay. Can he just drop this in and hold for the side? Yes, he can. Good stuff here. See the way he stayed down on that. Waited till the ball was in the hole before he moved anything. 